the war is over but there are still things that need to be done we need to kill the final berserker and we have 10 more ravens left um i do think that it probably is an integral part to the story so i would like to try to get the remaining 10 as well um just from the dialogue that we get when we go to the raven tree it seems like it is pretty important and um yeah whatever else comes up as well um the new queen the valkyrie queen i don't know if we'll be able to defeat her but we'll see we'll, we'll see what comes up so i it's the very next day after completing the game i thought that i was fine i thought that you know i processed everything i'm fine but i'm even more upset than i was i think like just yeah like i said in the outro in the last video i did go through a bit of a grieving process after finishing a game especially this game this was not a happy ending it wasn't kratos survived atreus survived but it wasn't a happy ending it was it was very sad um so yeah i'm quite i'm still processing everything with tia everything that happened and things are starting to come together and it explains why Odin left us with the mask in Nilfheim when he just left to go back to Asgard. I was like, why didn't he take them? It makes sense. Things like that are starting to make sense. Anyway, um, I am. Ex I do want to play. I do. I'm not. You know, I am happy to play, but I'm very. I'm still. I'm quite emotional still. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering <coughs> business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's Tavern in Svartalfheim. I'd like to go. Yeah, we're going. We're gonna go. <sighs> Alright, um, what about Frey though? Probably see Frey off too, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's go kill something. It's strange. There are still signs of the world serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. That can only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormung, yeah. fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found Atreus familiar. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. Yeah. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. Poor Jormungandr. Like, just to just be in a continuous loop all the time. That sucks. Shit. Wrong button. Oh, okay. Do we care about this? Ah. Oh. It was Baldus. He took Atreus. Tried to escape with him. We fought on its back. The things he put you through. Odin gave the commands. The blame is his. Yeah. Oh, uh, Freya, you're in the way of the lizard. Do we care about... I don't think we care. I don't think we care. See, I feel like this whole backwards thing, right? The re recalling the axe. It worked for that sap puzzle, but it should work for this too, you know? Oh well, I tried to do it in video two, I'm pretty sure it was. It didn't work. Bit inconsistent game. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that. And I yeah. have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. 
Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yorm even remembers after all this time who he once was. That's pretty <laughs> fucked up, you know? Like... Uh, uh, you guys, you know my thoughts on that whole thing if you watched Hi, video Kratos. 7, I think? The Jotunheim video? What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in neither Valir. We will be there. Quality stuff for you, my lady. Oh, melee attacks strike with heft and inflict greatly increased stun. Oh, okay. Haven't had Freya with us for a while. Impressive. Alright, I think I like the one she what has. What do you need, handsome? At the moment. Prepare to be very impressed. Yeah, alright, we're good. We're good. What's this? Turn my music company to... Okay, I don't know what this is, but... Brock and Sindri carefully measured and constructed a, to a harness to weaponize the smartest man alive. Okay, I don't know, maybe we'll try it. I really love our relic, our gift strength gift of strength, I think. Oh, heading up already? Got time to chat? Are you already here we go. Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take down Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Hello, Lunda. Hey, you got us. Uh, about your brother. I never got the chance to tell you. I I know moments like this you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but I always known that pretty, pretty man had greatness in him. That he'd do something amazing one day, and I'm just, you know, I'm proud that now the Nine Realms know it too. I, I thank you. Anytime, ma'am. Yeah. I knew Frey was going to die. Characters like him always die, you know? I don't know. It's kind of like a whole shows you for always being so cocky and happy all the time. I don't know. It just kind of seems like that, you know? What are these? The last remnants of Asgard. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go there then. This will probably end up being a very long video. Freya, something is on your mind. What is it? Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it. Oh, that Not was quite. so sad. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freya had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. So how, what do you mean? Oh, is Ingrid dead? <laughs> Mamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Hrasfelger. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he'd hold <sighs> off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mir, yeah. what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to... retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And yeah. don't ask me what you she expects to do that, in free you know? time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be hell? 
Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. Well, the Hellhound can just leave oh. whenever he wants. He's not important. Like, why did he even... What was, why did that even happen, you know? Like, why was that even a thing? I don't know. What is this prettiness? Oh. That shield up, you won't do much damage! Careful, brother! You're covered in my god! Chance! Well, if there's more of these Asgard fragments out there, the Einher Yar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. One of ten, oh my god. Oops. Wrong batons. God, they've really, really made it a real effort uh, for the post-game game, didn't they? Like, usually, I don't, I, I don't like. I'm not a fan of continuing a game once the story's finished. I'm just not. Like, I don't see the point. But this game has really made. You spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. The fuck? <laughs> separated Freya from his sword. Oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, you just see someone and you just... <laughs> Poor Ingrid. All right, while we're here, we'll see if there are... Because I want to get this as well. You know, why not? Um, birds. Where are the birds? All right, there's a raven here. So around this area. Come here. You may tell a story if you wish. Am I preferable to silence at last? <laughs> ah, fair day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been mm. one in my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Ah, women. Yeah, of course. Mostly women. 
As you can imagine, things deteriorated. Women are a distraction. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She mm -hmm. pleads for their assistance, for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. <laughs> the laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his not. shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and pours back across to his brother. Who is dumbfounded? Can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. <laughs> brother, he cries. How could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? <laughs> How could you break your vow like it was nothing? Carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony. The laird just smiles. Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. It is you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. Why can't I go in there? <laughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm going to look these birds up. I think I'm going to follow a guide because I am going to be here forever if I do not. No, I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to open up a guide for us. So it's right here, apparently. Oh, I hate how I... Why can't I do a custom marker? I hate that. I hate that a lot. Anyway, as I was saying, this game has made a really big effort to... Oh, yeah. When Hildesvini went to Helheim, how did he not freeze to death? A perk of the Yofer. The boar-shifting warriors of Vanaheim, as wise in statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they like. Sure, so long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar. <laughs> yeah, this game has really made an effort to make the post-game seem natural. <laughs> And worthwhile, you know, which is really cool. No, uh, I see something. What? What do you see, Freya? What? This campfire? We've already done it. What do you see? Can you? Oh, oh! It's just a speck of light. <laughs> Freya, what do you see? This rainbow stuff. Oh, there we go. Ha. Odin. What am I doing? Get the spear, silly. Silly woman. <laughs> Alright. Yes. Oops. Alright. I think that's it for Midgard, maybe. Um, let's have a look. Zero of one. No, we've still got this one. Alright, one over here. Brother, I've heard my share of stories about your homeland, but I'd also heard that you once fought in a tournament. I fought in many contests. But this particular one, I heard you did battle with beasts, scoundrels, princesses, the undead, automatons, and history's greatest musician. That's not... that's not true, is it? I would not speak of this. Fair enough, brother. Oh! <laughs> Bus, a yeah. nice knife. Mm -hmm. Shame it's rusted. A jambia, part weapon, part status symbol. This dagger from the east is said to be so deadly that it can only ever be worn, drawn from its sheath in case of extreme conflict. Should its bearer wield the jambia, jambia flippantly, they risk bringing considerable shame on themselves. Mm. I am very sad to leave this game behind, but at the same time, I'm really ready to move on, you know? Been playing God of War for a really long time. Ah! <laughs> 
God's destruction is not the end of our fight. Once we have gathered, once you have gathered yourselves, move your troops to my location in Musselheim's crucible. We shall strike back against the traitorous freak, this ghost of Sparta she travels with, and all who stand in our way. The Queen. Okay, the Valkyrie Queen. Mm. Can't they sense Odin is dead? They are soldiers. They will always be loyal to him, alive or dead. It is a matter of honor. Yes. They will continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his thumb. Not for long, they will. They're simps. They don't know any better. <laughs> Alright, so we've done that. We need to get up there. Why is it so difficult for me? Why am I such a plebitarian? The oarsman. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, all right. Okay. By the statue, it says. So it's around here. I think it's high up on a cliff. All right. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, it's probably that one that we couldn't... I couldn't get. I couldn't figure it out. Oh, here it is. Yes. <laughs> ah, stop. Yes. What? I thought the berserker we had left was in the fight. I'm confused. Let's check it out. What do you mean zero of one? What does this reveal itself once we go to Nilfarm? I don't understand. Okay, so those are all the Midgard ravens. Oh shit, we have to go back to Helheim. I don't think we've been to Helheim with um, Freya before. Okay, so there are two here. So I most likely have this, the first one, because it's on the, ra the, route, the route to the main story. So I would have gotten this one, I think. Um, yeah, so the one is here. I'm sure I, I would have gotten that one, surely. But it's on the way anyway. And the second one is located on the border of the shipyard of the Fallen. So it's all around here. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll just, we just go straight until we come across a raven. Should we speak with Frasfulga? Yes! I do speak the ancient tongue after all. Yes! I want to speak! Yes! Frasfulga! Gamule! <laughs> 
says there's six tears to close and not to expect any thanks for closing them. The tears should never have been opened. No, I think that's our cue to go. Oh, she's angry with us. We've spoken to the eagle that presides here in Helheim. She watched from afar while I battled the bridge keeper, yes, in our prior journey. Now by releasing Garm, we have opened six tears to Helheim. The bird is not pleased, but does not appear to be our enemy. That is for the best. Yeah, like, I was... It was weird that when we killed that bridge keeper, that they didn't do anything. The creatures that were here. I think there were multiple birds, if I remember correctly. That's crazy. I love it. I really hope we don't have to do more puzzles. Thank goodness we needn't revisit the other bit of Helheim. The one where you're confronted with your worst memories. What would you have done if we'd needed to return there? Stayed home. Definitely. Freya, here. What? Ah. Oh. Soul Blossom. Ah. Oh. Don't care. All right, done. Vernaheim. Shit. Southern Wilds. What's that? All right, Southern Wilds. Let's go to Vernaheim. Fucking hell. I forgot about that. Might get some interesting Freya dialogue. To Vanaheim, then. Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir hmm. refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats yeah. would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your majesty. <laughs> Anytime. Oh, Mimia! Get along with with Hilda Svaney. I like him. All right, what's his question mark? That's a realm tear, all right. Oh, from Garm. Are we going to close it? Yeah, I guess we're here. Let's put this thing on this um Mimia thing. Retreating for those who fight against fate. I like her tattered witch frock. It's pretty. Let's try this. Alright. Let's see what you can do, Mamiya. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I feel like Perseus with my Medusa head. This is not over. Shit. I pressed on frozen. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck, sorry. Oh, that's alright. Let's take that off. I don't like that. Sorry, Mimir. 
Freya, your hometown is annoying. There's another remnant thing there. Ooh. How have I not gotten this yet? Oh, am I supposed to do it after I defeat them? Behind you, incoming! Got destroyed. We've really seen her yard go. Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Asgard. Who knows what became of it? I suppose we'll have to find rest somewhere. Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh my god. <laughs> there you are, bitch. Another way to free. Okay, so we've got all the birds in the jungle, thank god. Got this stupid thing. Ugh. I am not. I don't want to do that. I think we've gotten all the ravens in Vanaheim. Our farm, okay. One of two. Alright, we need to go here. Alright. Thank god. Alright, we're done with Vanaheim. Ew. Hey, uh, near the little shop I'm running out in the outback desert, there's something y'all are probably gonna want to see. Okay, we'll go there. Okay, we can upgrade this. Awesome. Woohoo! Yes. This is from one of them other lands, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't think we need a stone. Oh, we do. Okay. Lucky I checked. Bye forever, Vanheim. Well, for a few years, anyway. <laughs> Till the next game. Alright, our uh, fine. I look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight elves. Oh? True. What makes you think They've that's united, an option? Haven't they? Yeah, true. What possible reason would they have to attack us? Because they're elves. Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the barrens eager for conflict. But why? Freyr united them. <laughs> they fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. Because they're elves, that's why. The elves in this game are so unreasonable, but I think I'm I think I'm being unfair because some people are really unreasonable too. 
Some gods are really unreasonable too. I don't know. This is where we were with Tia. That animation's not the greatest. I was basically on top of her. Serving a cruel god any longer. Agreed. Yeah. Odin is probably the worst person I've ever come across in any game. If I remember, if if, if I recall correct, yeah, he's just. If I'm not forgetting someone, yeah, Odin is. He never ceases to surprise me with just how cruel and just how shit. He's just, he's irredeemable. Like, he's horrible. Okay, so go up the path of curving stairs. Okay. Uh, do we really want to do this? I mean, if it's easy. So one. Two. Great, cool. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, okay. Thank you. Cool. Four, five? Yes, four, five. Um. What's happening? The Temple of Light is oh. certainly gaudier than I remember it. Hmm. Aye. I thought it might be why Freya chose this realm. A change of pace from home. Up the curving says, look for the gap in the left wall. The ground will have a shimmering mark. Okay. Drop down the ledge. Okay. The elves have abandoned the Temple of Light at long last. Ragnarok took a brutal toll on them. They have retreated to mourn the dead, to take stock of their people. How long will the peace last? Yeah. Before another incursion into the temple occurs. I do not know. But in Asgard, light and dark elf fought as one. I do not think they will forget that. All right, there will be a raven behind a gate. Oh, here we go. Okay. Why didn't I figure this out before? Alright. Um. 43. Alright. One of two. Okay. The barons. I'm glad there aren't enemies all around here. Appreciate it. Make haste to the prison that has fallen in Nilfarm. The Allfather may be gone, but we will cry out his will and ensure the prisoner never sees the light of day again. What prisoner? Oh, good time. Remember that thing I said you was going to mm -hmm. see? You better go feast your peepers before it's over. Okay. Where is it? Alright. Uh -huh. 
Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer. And his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. Well, good for her. Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly mm. upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh, a bit before my time. What do you tell? We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerth, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost Light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone Wanderlust. who could truly show him how. So, wander they did. Exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerth to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. <laughs> Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he... wandered. Mm -hmm. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious! I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured mm -hmm. after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. Mm -hmm. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> Should be here is on the right eye of the huge skull. You're free. Shit. All right, three or four. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Raven to your left. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right. Light out, Grace. An entire mausoleum. They killed their own to protect their secrets. That's harsh. God. Yes. But with this secret exposed, perhaps old wounds can begin to heal. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Braziers. How am I supposed to get those? I guess I have to go back through. All right. So our farm's done. What's the harm? Any ravens here? One of one. Zero of one. This is unreasonably slow. Like, why though? 
No running in the hallway. I don't think we've been to Muslaheim with Freya before. Right near the, right outside the door. Okay. fragments of Asgard there are. A realm's worth at least, so I'd say we have our work cut out for this. Defend the prison, rally your forces and make haste to the prison that has fallen in Nilfheim. It now lies near the Raven Tree. Do not let the prisoners escape. It does not. It does not what? Valhalla rises again. The Enheriar who made camp in Muslaheim after Asgard fell were mistaken and are dead once more. The Enheriar Kaish. But high up on the rocky cliff in a window. Oh, there it is. Two more. Alright, so those are all the ones in Muslaheim. Svartalheim. Alright, Nidlui. I don't want to go there. I don't want to trigger the funeral. Shit, alright. Found when you reach Nidvilia, disembark the canoe and go up the path to find a couple of buildings with water wheels by the blacksmith shop. The raven is on the building to the left of the shop. Alright, so it's... So it's right here. Alright. I'm going to save it in case we trigger the funeral because I don't want to do the funeral yet. I'm not ready. I will say that I don't really much care for dwarves. Really like, you know, in Lord of the Rings and Dragon Age. Like, I like Gimli. I like um, Varric from Dragon Age. I don't like Ogren from Dragon Age, but... Like, I don't hate dwarves, but I've never really cared for them until God of War, until this game. Really made me... They're just so cosy. They're so cool. And and really, historically for me anyway, my um, exposure with dwarves have always been impervious to magic, right? But these ones in God of War, they're really skilled. Their magic is really cool and... Their craftsmanship is so intertwined with magic, and I don't know, I really like dwarves because of God of War. I like the dwarves in the God of War universe. I don't hate dwarves, I'm just, like I said, kind of boring to me, you know? But this game made them interesting to me. Alright, so... Um, water wheels. Shop with... Two water wheels, okay. So it's right here, like right in there. I'm on the wrong side. I need to come from this side. Alright, we're going to the wetlands. So we need to go all the way through here. Another piece of Garm's handiwork. Oh, my neck. 
Work has been fixed. Ooh. I am glad. Well, how about that? Atreus would be happy to know we have tied up some of his loose ends. Perhaps we should let Thrasfolger know. Perhaps. Hmm, we are not going back there. I mean, it's not far from the gate. Alright, so that's all good. Let's proceed with the ravens. I'm not doing remnants of Asgard because I'm not prepared to go to the one in Vanheim. So there's no point in doing the other ones. So, yeah, we're not doing those. Stop rowing so slow. This is where we need to be. Alright, there it is. How did I miss that? I won't be able to get it from here. No. Yes. One more. Okay. Really? So we're done with... There was only one? That we didn't get? There's none in your own heart. Vanaheim, please don't let there be more. Fuck. There's one more in Vanaheim. Fucking hell. Shit. Well, fuck. Well, then if I'm going to go there anyway, I may as well do this, so I may as well do the one here. Fuck. I hope you guys are okay with the long video. Okay, the last remnants of Asgard are back on the table. I can see it from here, pretty. Uh -uh. You don't get to use that move. <laughs> Another camp defeated. Aye, and one step closer to giving the realms a shot at healing. No clipping of the head, that's good. I appreciate that. God, it'd be so egros here. So humid here. Look at the steam. Alright, um, so... Vanaheim, bish. Alright, I hate it how there's not a door here. Why not? Shit. Look at that. So I guess here then. Or 
Would it just be easier? No, because there's no dock there. You're right, phrase camp. Returning to Vanaheim. We must always be on the hunt for resources. Now, regarding security. Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Let me hear. Lady Sith, <laughs> Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, Your Majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenir Yard. Yeah. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Hmm. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. Excuse me, princess! Meeting at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here. <laughs> Diplomacy administered and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? <laughs> Back to it then. Where can we set up the farmsteads and the granaries? We don't need them. This realm provides us what we need. What if the winter? Collect your troops and report to the crucible in Muslaheim. I have set up camp there and await your arrival. Ugh. If the food spoils. Then we hunger, and we learn. Perhaps have you not burned Freya for trying to teach you- I did not light that fire, but I was there to witness. Mm -hmm. Even in death, Odin's legacy of poor leadership endures. Working together, of course. we can break that cycle faster than apart. Actually, I am going to, just in case, I'm going to save it. Because if we need to turn it tonight, I'm going to load this save rather than running all the way back. Yeah. Hmm, okay. We might be alright. We find two more. It's almost impressive. <laughs> Alright, now the raven. Right here, the abandoned village. So, pursue the enemy through the wall that gets broken. Which wall is that? Oh, here we go. Alright. Through the wall that gets broken. Okay. Look across the way to spot the raven in the tree. Wow. I think that's there, right? That's right there. I just saw it. Am I going to be able to get it? Was that it? Was that all the ravens? Cool. All right. Oh, but we did it. All right. Oh, my God. Thank God. Oh, all right. 
God, I wish that I'd found this gateway so long ago. Alright, now. Let's go to Niflheim and free the birds. I hope this was worth it. X needed an upgrade. I guess so. Feels half crazy to say it, but I got a good feeling about that Thrude girl. Never mind in what family she came from. I quite agree. She's an impressive young woman. I thought you might. Why, well, I ain't never seen anyone quite so awestruck as when she laid eyes on you back at the hole. Like, meeting her idol. She was apparently quite eager to learn from all the Valkyries. Now that she has Mjolnir, I expect her next stop will be to begin training with Sigrun. I think Brock and Sindri would be happy knowing that hammer's finally with someone worthy to wield it. And a future Valkyrie, no less. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, this is real good for wood. Better for bone. Finally. Everything is maxed. Okay. Aha. Another fallen piece of Asgard. Something seems a bit different about this one. Different. Dunno. I'm just a funny feeling. Your analytical mind knows no bounds. Oh, okay. About the queen, I guess. Search the prison. Alright, we're doing the birds. We freed you all. I'd love to, brother, but I've no idea where we'd look. What if the Keeper's even still alive? We will find her. So it's a her. Oh, so when they said Mummy and Daddy. Daddy's Odin, Mummy's the Raven Keeper. Okay. What's this? Four, three, two. Five, two, two. Right, last one. Get away with the bright children. How do you end it? Where'd she go? We have returned the revenants, the raven souls to Niflheim and drawn out their keeper. The raven keeper awaits us inside the sparring arena. Of course we will face them. Looks like a revenant. Alright, are you ready Freya? Let's do this. Sure. Why not? 
Ravens, the children, appreciated it as well. Is there nothing to be done for them? I believe we have done something. Perhaps. Hmm. Push enemies back with force and grant an aura of protection. Oh, come on. Law. Oh my god, whatever. According to Mimir, this Raven Keeper was an acolyte of Odin. Lacking the physical prowess of a Valkyrie, she proved no less useful for her cunning and seer craft. Odin was in need of eyes in all the realms, and it was she who offered a solution. She stole the souls of children and reshaped them according to Odin's malevolent will. In freeing the ravens around the realms from her servitude, we incurred her wrath. Now we have rid the realms of both the winged spies and the creator. I only hope those poor children may find some measure of peace. Fucking hell. I hate Odin so much. That's horrible. He's not even a villain you love to hate. He's just... Disgusting. Father and father, past fast. Finally, now our anguish may pass. All right, let's go kill this berserker. I'm guessing he's over here. Alright, there's a realm thing of Asgard. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem no. so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. Yeah, the queen said something about prison.
This place goes deep. We should head downward. Ah, yes. I'm sure there's nothing especially dangerous at the bottom of an Asgardian prison. survived Ragnarok. Perhaps some of the inmates did as well. Let us find out. Him, Amir? I do not, sadly. Of course, the Ainher Yard disappeared a fair few dwarven rebels during the occupation. I suspect this is one of them. Mm. <laughs> All right. an elf, but not a particularly high-ranking one. So what did Odin have to gain by imprisoning them? I'd say information, but why keep them locked up afterward? Why not just kill them? Can we be friends? We don't have to fight. I'm not an inheritor. Alright. Nasty hit. You are right, brother. Move. Was he? 
I don't know. A gardener, perhaps? Dream Shade is difficult to keep alive, even under the best conditions, but this... He gave all his strength to keep it alive. Then it is right. You should have it. Odin hid something here. Mm. I know it. We should find a way to the cell on the other side. <clears throat> Believe it. Wait, that can't be. Lord Tear. Is this an illusion? No, brother. No, I think it's the real deal. Lemire? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, aye. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done. Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are? His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm the destroyer of worlds. Sure, come back to me. <laughs> Until then. Well, of a world. Fucking hell. Of the myths, oh, we've already read this. I'm um, when Asgard fell, the true prison holding Tia fell with it. We happened upon it in Niflheim. Finally, we meet the war god of legend. He's different from the one we thought we knew, yet he has been through much and needs space to recover. May he find the peace he seeks in this new world. Oh, well, that's good. I just, it's weird for me. I can't. I'm very, um, I've been hurt a lot here, so I, it's going to take me some time to warm up to you. This is very surreal for concern, me right now. But I'm fine. Like, I thought I knew you, I but I didn't. All are. And now, but I would love to be alone for a moment. Here you really are. It's a lot. It's a lot. So that's it? Shit, okay. Um, let's go open the, the, um, let's go open the chest, I guess. This is a better place to be than the, um, the cave, the mine. You believe that was truly yeah. him? It's hard to trust anything after what we've been yes. through. But with Odin gone, I have no cause to doubt it. Our paths will cross again. Of that, I'm sure. Apple, please, Apple, that we can get more help. Of course not. Uh, of course not. Oh, that would have been, that would have been glorious. Oh, that's, uh, this game keeps surprising me. I'm really glad that we did that. Well, now we know what this prison's for. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Makes sense. If you're going to imitate someone, you wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? Mm. He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Aye. Interesting. Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons. But he knew Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? Mm. He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wanderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. All right. Um... Where's this berserker now? Okay, I looked it up and I think we have to go see Ratatoska. So he can give us 
another yggdrasil seed i think so we'll go do that now maybe tear will be there too the real tear I can hear the rain. Here, Hercules of Cantamales, of what the fuck your name is. Mm hmm. You rang? Hello, Rodotasker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. Yes. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? Unlock mystic gateways across the nine realms, allowing for quick access to new and explored areas. I was curious, my dear fellow. You come from lands beyond these, do you not? Yes. I was wondering, who tended your world tree back home? My home had no world tree. No, you had no... without... how? How did one travel from realm to realm? On foot or by sea. Good God, man! No <laughs> wonder you left. <laughs> I no suppose fast I need travel. To take up more of your time. Yeah, uh, the obvious as well that I haven't mentioned. This game and the previous game has not explained how Kratos ended up here. When we last saw him, he was dead, presumably. In a pool of blood amongst a ruined, flooded, destroyed world. We don't know yet how he came here. Um, I'm going to leave this. Uh, we're going to go get the Berserker. Ooh, unlock. Yes. Awesome. Woohoo! Let's do this. The Finger of Ruin. Yes, I would like this one. Yes. Oh, strength 20. Shit. Okay. All right. Well, that one. Cool. Awesome. King Rolf, where are you? I'm here to kill you. Put an end to this. To put an end to this madness. I was pressing R uh, three, but nothing happened. All right. Um. I just I want to head straight there. Heard something behind me. <laughs> Let's mark it. Okay. Enemy behind you. That's oh, in my neck. <laughs> Ugh, alright. Lost a bit of health. Oh well. We'll be fine. There we go. What's up here? Nothing. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Yes, okay. I forgot. 
get another go and I'll kill you. I thought this was the king we were fighting. Oh, it might be the king after this berserker. Yes, all right. All right, no more, no sigils, which sucks, but oh well. Okay. I'm too cocky. <laughs> I'm too cocky because I'm so strong. Fuck, no! 
Alright. This was the last, was it not? Uh, Scott Dandy, the unerring. Unerring feels a fitting title as her aim was true. However, Mimir, te <laughs> Mimir tells me she earned it during her days in as an assassin. Her targets would meet their end without fail, but not until after every ally around them had been killed first. Only the king remains. Aye, and if you thought his berserkers were tough, well, I've been thinking about what you said, brother. Sorry. Alright. Maybe it's time to let this go. Slurping up a dead man's soul with this old sword isn't going to change the past. It is good to hear you say that. But I plan to face it regardless. What? After all your lecturing on vengeance and spite? We've killed well, Mimir. The spirit wanted Midgard. But I needed to know you wanted this for the right reasons. Huh. Appreciate the sentiment, brother. Mia, we've killed 12. We're going to finish it. All right, now. Do you hear that? Yes. Someone's crying. Sinmara. Ah, Sutter's love. Yeah. Should we try to tell her what happened? She yes. knows. Freya. The flower. <laughs> I does not think anything grew here. Alright, so I guess we have to go to Midgard now. Um to kill the king. Jotunheim. Shit. Alright, we'll go to we'll go to uh, Midgard first and then we'll go to Jotunheim. Because um, Kratos hasn't been there before. All right, I think this one King might. King gravestone. It's reformed. Yes, there's only one thing left to do. All right, wish me luck. I'm going to assume that this is going to be very challenging. So I'll I'll try to fart smart. I said try. All right. Power move, especially if I can't combine it with sigils. Fucking three damage, two damage. Oh. All right, that's the most damage. I'll try this stun. All right. Actually, let's see if we can maybe use another relic as well. Okay. 
can try this. So sonic damage, okay. Careful, brother. No! You're covered in <laughs> One time that move doesn't stun people, like, fuck off, like, the inconsistency is, fuck, that move always stuns people, but that one time, it didn't stun him. Freya, why are your runic summons so shit? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Sure, if that was justice or vengeance, but the two are not always at odds. Exactly, thank you. Former owner of the cursed blade Skofnag, an unworthy man who declared himself king, Mimi spoke bitterly of how he and his berserkers laid waste to the kingdom of Ledre. It is unlike Mimir to seek vengeance, but his cause is just. I have taken Prof's sword, once a symbol of betrayal, and used it to rid these realms of him and his followers. I hope this brings Mimir some peace. Uh. What do you intend to do <laughs> with Skofnung now? I intend to use it. No! Don't you understand the legacy that thing carries? Not to mention the souls of evil berserkers. I will... Sorry. Use it for good. That won't erase its history. Who cares, Mimir? Yeah. But the story of this sword is still being written. Yes. Future generations will weigh its good deeds against the bad and decide for themselves. You've come a long way from when I first met you, brother. I have had good counsel since then, brother. Yes, who cares? Like, the history is history, you know? It doesn't mean that we can't use something that was once used for bad and use it for good. Yeah? Yeah? Oh my god. That took me a long fucking time. Alright, um, let's go see Lunda. Well, actually, can we use this or... What's this? The sword unleashes is powerful. Okay. Okay, let's try it. So now we need... Can we do this Valkyrie Queen or I'll, I'll have to look into it because I want to know if we can do it. Okay, apparently she can be found in Muslaheim, which makes sense because that was the last note that we got um, that she was in Muslaheim. So, yeah. Okay, now apparent, apparently she's here somewhere. Brought a pail of water. Yes, Lunda, you need to stay hydrated. Okay. Freya faces her enemy, her nemesis. Can't remember her name. Gna or can't remember. Oh. No. She's fierce. Attack only if you think we are ready. Um. Good. I'll see you pay for what you've done. Oh shit! They can use sigils now. Brother, you're covered in bifrost. 
Shit, okay. Um, let's change back um, her mother head. Yes. Rafa's on. Yes. Yes. my new move. Berserker battle. Oh my god, the King Frog. That was hard. That was really hard. Shit. Shit. I don't have fire sigils. I want that health. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
as Sigrun. No matter what you try, the results uh. will be the same. Good. I'll see you pay for 
what you talk about. Four moves at once. Alright, going for a kick. to feel dizzy. Does this even do anything frosting the axe with, with the runic? Shit! 
are starting to hurt. My finger pads are starting to hurt. Maybe I should try Sonic Arrows when that happens to see what happens. Maybe the boulder explodes on her and it causes her damage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I am so close to turning the difficulty down. I really, really, really fucking am. Like, I didn't play for this. I didn't ask for this today. I just wanted to say goodbye to the game. This is this. going to give me an aneurysm. All right, we'll leave the sonic arrows on and see. No, actually, we'll leave the, change the sigils. Careful, 
Do Freya's moves for Sonic. down a little bit. Oh! <laughs> 
left entire realms in That's ruins. bullshit. That's not Sister, what happened. I know the hate that burns you from within. I have felt those flames, known the comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred, vengeance, you have to let it go. Finish it. Why? <sighs> really? Yes, sister. Such an unworthy Odin's final Valkyrie Queen. At one time she was Freya's handmaiden, friend and trusted confidant. Mimir has called her a traitor, but it was clear she believed she was the one betrayed. Freya had spoken highly of her ambition, her conviction, and her unyielding loyalty. These would be admirable qualities in a warrior, yet in the end her loyalty proved misplaced in Odin. 
Even after his defeat, she met her end with dignity, though Freya took no satisfaction in delivering it. Fucking hell. Uh. Are you okay, Freya? Oh, Bernard's journal. Must she always play the victim as if she had no hand in the shaping of her fate? In her eyes, her brother abandoned her because of his selfishness, not because she was domineering and controlling. She was exiled from her own realm because her husband was evil, not because she was caught conspiring behind his back. Her son was unjustly killed because of a vengeful foreigner, not because she drove her own son to madness. And when I kill her, Freya will tell whomever will listen to her in hell that it was because her former handmaiden betrayed her, and not because she deserved every single thing that's happened to her. For Boulder, yeah, I get that, I do, but she had no choice but to leave Vanahaya. Or whatever, you know, leave everyone. Odin, fucking. Oh, sad. Very fucking sad. I loved that, despite how hard that was for me. I really did like that Freya. I loved Freya in that fight. It was, it was very, yeah, it was powerful for me, you know? Like, it was, it was good. I liked it. Freya, I'm sorry it came to that. I gave her what she wanted. Thank you. Go there. How does it feel being Queen of the Valkyries once more? Queen. Why? There are no Valkyries left. Mm -hmm. The Shield Maidens. Will you not lead them? Or rebuild? Maybe. It would be the first time in a while I have something true to mind. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Okay, let's take Kratos to Jotunheim. I did not think that we would be getting this chance. Okay. Angry Boda's treehouse. Will Atreus be there? I doubt it. Ah, if I had a stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin is gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no, it's from excitement. Hardly any non-giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among a very select few. So this is Jotnar. As beautiful as the stories. And then some. Where's Fenrir? <laughs> Company's here, Finn. Mm. Finger Buddha. Kratos, Finger Buddha. <laughs> Vimir, Freya, it's good to see you. I wish to thank you for creating a path out of Asgard for us. Aye, a true pleasure to meet the lassie who saved our skins. Indeed. Your giant stuff magic is truly a marvel. We were so glad we got there in time. Freya, your brother's sacrifice won't be forgotten. It won't. I will say, you've made quite the impression on our Atreus's heart. Mimir, <laughs> like you were thinking of it. Ahem. Mimir. You're a cherished ally, Engraboda. I hope we cross paths again. <laughs> I imagine we will. There's lots to do, and I'm just getting started. Kratos? The last time you were here was because of Faye, right? You saw this in prophecy. Your son told me. It's a beautiful place to rest. It is what she wished. So Kratos has been here before? In real. Really, Kratos? Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Good boy. You painted these shrines. Some of them. Some I finished for my mother. Your work is beautiful. Your skill with a brush is unmatched, Angerboda. <laughs> my son. Unmatched. He draws. He told me. Although he'd do well to learn from your use of color. We come from a long line of artisans, so he has it in him. He just needs some discipline to bring it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like you. Oh. Really? We're not gonna talk about these? No? That's it? I hope I'm not missing anything. I thought that we'd at least get to talk about the prophecy, you know. Alright, let's go to Sindri to Brock's funeral. Oh! Angaboda, you are the last giant left in your name. No, actually. My grandmother, Gryla. She's, um, not really we one can for change. visitors. We can change that. She's still here. She's helping me forage at the moment. After all you've done, lass, she must be so proud to have a granddaughter such as yourself. She... She might be. Someday. I don't know quite yet, but I think it's a start. Well, the nerve of her. The, the absolute nerve of her. Oh my god, she might be proud of you one day. Fuck, I hate her. I can't stand her. Alright, are we done? Has that unlocked anything here? I just find it weird that we can't talk about any of this. Alright. Alright, we have a funeral to attend. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> One, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi, y'all made it. Just about to send him off. Where is everyone else? That's it. Where's... I don't know. I just thought there'd be more people here. Hilda, Hilda Sveeney, the Valkyries, I don't know. I try it. I don't know. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. What the fuck? Find you! Incoming fire flight! Well done. Well, I don't suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. We forgot about the remnants of Asgard, so we'll quickly do those. You know, back in Jotunheim, I had half a mind to ask Angerboda what exactly her intentions were with the lad. But one look at her and any doubts I had melted away. <laughs> it's a question every parent must grapple with sooner or later. I trusted her with my life. I trust her with my son. You can't argue with that. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. This is truly thankless work. It must be done. Mm. I'm sure the civilians were protecting would thank us. Well, thank both of you. Me, they would just point at and scream. Even worse for the Midgardian refugees. Learning the god they indebted themselves to didn't care for them at all. Such a profound betrayal. Aye. Their homes will not be the only thing they will be rebuilding. Okay, one more left. And I'll find. That was the last stronghold of the Aesir. So, Odin's oppressive ways have finally ended. Are you satisfied? Yes. Perhaps the realms may finally find peace and healing. Stina and Sturker. Brothers, still in the service of Odin after Asgard has fallen. What they had hoped to achieve in the deserts of Alfheim has now blown away with, blown away with the sands on the wind. Should any more Asgardian forces remain loyal to Odin, I will rid this land of them. Ooh, the Queen's armor. Yes. Yes. I like that. We'll go here to the Advarga wetlands. Okay. For Brock's funeral. Which is made so much more sadder knowing that he doesn't have an afterlife to go to, you know? So sad. 
Oh yes! Oh awesome! I love that. Damn it. What is wrong? I should have changed. Sewn some morning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. You've got your queen outfit on. And I've got my sexy armor on. Put your weapons away. Yeah. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Yeah. Loss can do things to a man. Yeah. You made it. We can begin. Of course we did. Black was.
gets bigger, the more you take away. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or what have you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. Well, he doesn't have an afterlife, so... I don't know. Maybe he does? Forgive Sindri. He's just dead. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. Well, that's it. That's God of War Ragnarok. It's over. I really feel like I needed that today. I really feel like I needed it. It was, it was kind of like closure. I feel ready. I do. I feel, yeah, I feel a bit better now leaving it. Um, yeah better than i did yesterday or before i before i started um this is an extremely long recording it's almost 10 hours my longest recording um yeah what an amazing game what a heartfelt game just yeah it's a really really good game i loved it a lot it's very special to me um this and the last game yeah I hope you enjoyed the series and um, yeah, I hope you join me for many more. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.